Welcome everybody. Today I'm going to be interviewing St. Albertus Magnus. Mr. Magnus is going to explain to us all his experiences and how his path to becoming a saint. Thanks for having me here. My name's Albertus, but you can call me St. Albert. So, Mr. Albert, where were you born and what is your background? I was born... Oh wait, I forgot. I think it was sometime around 1206 in Landen, Germany. I was always very interested in math, and the sciences, and geography. I always wanted to learn and explore further. I was always intrigued by the connection between God and science. Very interesting. How did you access all this learning? Most people at the time could not afford this good education. Well, my family was, we lived in a castle and we were very rich, so my parents were able to send me to the finest schools and even those fancy new ones. What encouraged you to learn and teach so much? I was always a very bright student. I challenged my teacher, teachers to come up with better lessons that made me learn more than the curriculum. I attended the University of Padua and studied philosophy and science. This led to all of my work. I wrote 38 books about astronomy, natural sciences, geography, law, friendship, and love. I became a member of the Dominican Order and taught in several universities, and I love to teach just as much as I love to learn. I had a student named Thomas Aquinas who also became a saint, like me. Albert, how did you become a saint? Sometime during 1223, I met the Blessed Virgin Mary. She inspired me so much that I became a member of the Dominican Order to study theology. I learned so much about God while still learning about science. I love the connections between religion and science. I gave le lectures about theology and philosophy at the University of Paris. Pope Alexander IV appointed me to be a bishop. This was great, but I didn't really co it didn't really coordinate with what I did, so I resigned from the job. I became an advisor to the Pope and a mediator. After my death, I was later canonized and became a saint, and so did Thomas. That was very interesting. What are your beliefs? I believe that science and technology can go hand in hand more than people think. They are both very important, and we need to note their importance. I believe that by studying, you can unlock all the secrets of the world and expand your knowledge. By knowing more, humanity can go on to do great things. Those are some very cool beliefs. Before we end the interview, I would like to know, are you the patron saint of anything? I'm the patron saint of scientists, philosophers, me medical technicians, and natural sciences. That's going to be it, everybody. Give a round of applause to St. Albert. <laughs>